Oh. It happened. My cat Josie, the older golden one, aka Josephine, the little fur baby, who we've had for about 10 years and is probably a little bit older than that since we got her as a little kitten, has passed away. Earlier today, about a few hours after I had gotten home from school, my dad came home and before that my mother noticed that Josie was having trouble with the litter box and was... When she came out, she was peeing all over the kitchen floor because we had to bring up the litter box in there for, you know, we don't want her to go back down into the cold basement walking about and everything. You know, she's getting frail and cold and sad and stuff and malnourished. And for the past few weeks and even a few months, actually, she's been getting weaker and she's becoming noticeably frail. We've noticed that she's become bony. She has some build up around her nose and she's been having trouble breathing she hasn't been eating very much she's been not acting like you know the Josie we love and know and not too long ago we knew that stuff wasn't going to go well after a certain blood check and you know we figured out that she had you know failing kidneys and a few days after that or maybe the day after that we realized we had to we have to you know take her we have to put her down unfortunately Similarly to how my dad took Simba to the vet and had him taken down years and years ago. And it happened tonight. My dad and I, we gathered around and Josie was sitting in the little kennel and we thought, okay, maybe we'll take her in the kennel. But we thought, no, dad wrapped her in a blanket that we've been putting her in for a good while, held him, held her in his little arms and comforted her and hugged her like a little rockabye baby and we wanted to give a little final goodbye to between Gracie and Josie and we had we had to catch and go after Gracie a little bit because she was running away and hiding and stuff like that we had to grab Gracie I had to be very careful I was I'm very nervous as to not hurting the cat so I had to grab her very carefully honestly and which I probably shouldn't have done because my dad kept saying you keep letting her get her way. Stop it. <laughs> so, yeah, we brought Gracie and Josie together, and we got a picture of the two of them together. And we've had plenty of pictures of the cat while she's been dying slowly and painfully. Well, not really painfully. Only in the past few days she started to show symptoms of pain. And after that, we drove all the way to the vet down in Rosedale Oaks, right? Uh, Royal, 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 bleh, Royal Oaks, sorry. And we waited in the car for a little while until we finally got the green light to go in. My parents brought the cat in, and a little while later, uh, two people would be allowed to enter and, you know, watch her as she would get the shot. And that was me and my dad. My dad carried her. He, In fact, my mom actually drove all the way to the vet instead of my dad, and my dad was the one carrying her in his grasp. We were welcomed into the room and all, and... We were given Josie, she was being kept and put into a little bag and had a little needle and bandage and stuff around her leg, and she was sitting there, barely moving and all, but still alive, sitting there in the blanket, and me and my dad were sitting there. My dad was crying a lot louder and a lot more powerfully than even I was at first, and at that point, I hadn't really heard dad cry so much in my life. I'd never heard him tear up and sob like that before. It was shocking. And hearing that while Josie is sitting there, barely holding on, it was so stressful and so painful. And we were saying our goodbyes and thank yous, our kisses, our pets, and and by pets I mean, you know, petting the cat. And looking back at past memories, like videos of me playing with her and putting a little I voted sticker on the top of her head, putting her in a little dress, having her sitting under the Christmas tree, sitting with little young Gracie since she's several years younger obviously pictures of her sitting close to a camera sprawled out on the chair or in the camper that video of her grouching and grumbling which I don't think you guys have seen that at all and pictures of her licking her lips in a funny way her butt hanging off the end of a chair so it looks like you know her tail's dangling down 
all kinds of past memories that are nice. And I do plan on making a little compilation tribute video sometime soon, and all with pictures, perhaps. Though it will be a little bit more complicated and difficult than past things, since I'm not using footage and adding pictures and stuff like that. I'm making footage out of just pictures. That'll be difficult. And we gave, after some talks with some nice veterinarians, we had her sedated so nice and quickly, and then the shot was done, and she was passed, and... Me and my dad cried a little bit. Mom was still sitting out in the car waiting for stuff to happen. She said that she cried a little bit. We wrapped her in a nice little comfy blanket. And she still had this stuff with her. And we and they gave us, or she took, one of the veterinarians took the body out into the back and came back with her in a little blue bag with a paw and in a little angel ring over the top. Halo, halo, that's what it's called. And yeah, she was in the bag and we took her home. Thank the veterinarians for all that they did, and they wished us the best of luck and and their condolences after what happened, and I appreciated that. And the drive home wasn't that depressing and all. We weren't sobbing on the way home very much, thankfully. And then, once we got home, we unloaded, we showed, we looked at the body briefly in the little bag. Well, actually, not until afterwards. And my dad beforehand had painted a box white and all so we could put her in the box and bury her in the backyard like we did with Simba years ago. And I got the opportunity to write on the box and I'll show you that just right now. baby. So yeah, Josie's in that box you just saw. I didn't show any body, obviously, because, you know, don't want this video to get taken down, or nor do I want anybody to vomit after seeing a cat corpse. Plus, it's just kind of horrible to show a dead body to YouTube. It's, I, know, I know that way too well, thanks to a certain YouTuber at the beginning of 2018. Anyways, yeah, I customized the top of the box with a marker with my own little writing, and after that, we looked at Josie's body briefly, and all she started to smell a little bit, which means she's starting to go through the process, obviously. And we put her in the box before my... Well, actually, after my mom had to put down wrapping paper and stuff like that, and construction stuff down at the bottom to keep her... Body nice and warm and comfy as a nice little honor and memorial to her. And we put her in the box. And now, and then after that, we had to put the box with Josie in it, slightly revealing Josie's face a little bit. And Gracie was just down there in the corner, looking down at the body, going up close, looking at it, sniffing it just a little bit, and looking a bit confused and sad and going through the realization of what's happened. Poor Gracie, the only cat currently around now. I don't know if that's going to last much longer, though, because soon we may get another cat, though we haven't really been talking about that very much. But currently there's only one pet kennel, or, you know, in use, while the other one won't be. Only one bowl of water to be used, well, actually, only one bowl of food to be used, while the other one just simply sits there. Oh, poor, poor Josie fur baby. So yeah, someday we will make a tribute and maybe some more videos about this topic. And I also will upload the last video I recorded of Josie, which I recorded several days ago, way back actually, and I didn't upload it because I didn't know when it was going to happen or if I would record any more videos of her. So yeah, I'll upload that too. So think that this day went from me just making a Poseidon Rain, He's Rain Durrani skit to this. Quite a bit of a shocking transition, don't you think? But yeah. Rest in peace, Josie for baby. Me, Gracie, my parents, my friends and family, and everyone else who knows of her will miss you very much. And Gracie and us will see you sometime later on when we pass as well. We will miss you and we will never forget the good times we've had with you, Josie. Thank you. Rest in peace.